everyone. Welcome to another Mindful Monday. <laughs> I feel like that should be a song. So you might notice that I have a, a circus tent behind me. <laughs> My um, next door neighbors, I was just telling Greg, celebrated uh, one of their birthdays and uh, pitched a tent out there for the, for the f people to eat dinner in. And um, so we still have it up there. And um, I thought about moving, but I think it's kind of, I don't know, festive. And I, I'm wondering if any of you are going through this uh, ex as we experience coming out of uh, the pandemic, hopefully, um, that some of us are more ready to party and be with big crowds. And, and then some of us who have maybe really relished um, some of the um, the quiet, the um, more introspective time that we that has been afforded us through this past year. Maybe maybe we're not quite ready. Some of us in the yogi world may have been uh, really enjoying that this time that we've had. Um, so perhaps we can extend it a little bit, or at least. Um, have that awareness that we can carve out this time for ourselves, no matter what is going on, regardless of whether there's a party in your backyard, you still can come into your own stillness and find that peace. So I thought we'd start in child's pose, if that's okay with you, if that's not good with your knees, find a comfortable seat or just lay down on your mat. If you're coming into child's pose with me, bring your knees wide as your mat. Perhaps uh, place something underneath your knees to make it really comfy. And then as you descend into child's pose, just do it with mindfulness. So uh, take it slow and notice what you're bringing to your mat this morning. So you're, if your hips are tight like mine, I worked out a couple days ago and I'm feeling it today. Sometimes it takes a couple days to set in. Um, so just come in very mindfully. And um, another option is to place a blanket between um, your hips and your legs. If your hips are just not reaching back as far today. And another option, if your head doesn't quite reach the floor, a block or a folded up blanket or a pillow underneath your forehead is another option. Once you get there, send your arms forward and stretch out your shoulders. And then eventually just let your hands and forearms rest on the floor. And let's tune in to the body Noticing the parts of the body that are making contact with the surface beneath you. Perhaps feeling the weight of the body. And then notice, notice the parts of you, of your physical structure that are perhaps resisting the stretch. And when there's resistance to anything, a really good option for us is to come to our breath. So notice how it feels to take a full, deep, long inhalation And then with that exhalation, keeping it slow, see if you can lessen resistance in your physical body. Again, filling up, bringing the air from the bottom to the top, filling up the entire space of the lungs, the back of the heart, 
And then let go, slow, conscious exhalation. Seeing if you can release resistance. Good. Let's take one more breath here. Remembering that three breaths can do wonders. So we'll we'll make this third one our deepest, fullest. And then let that exhalation encourage us to release tension, resistance. We can find that presence right here, right now, in these physical structures that house our soul. So when you're ready, we're just going to slide forward. So if you do have something under your knees, you might want to remove that and come on down to your belly. <clears throat> and then... Just make a little pillow for your forehead and rock your hips from side to side. Sophie, shake it out. I hear Sophie walking around over there. Sophie, we mentioned you. And then find stillness here. Take a big breath in and just lift your right leg. Point your toes and then lower your leg down. See if you can get it just a little bit longer. Same thing with the left. Get really long. Good. <clears throat> and then take a turn of your head toward one side, just placing one ear on your little pillow there. Turn your head. Notice what kind of mobility is in your neck here. Breathe in and breathe out. And then as you're ready, whichever side you are turned toward, just draw that same knee up toward your elbow. We'll stretch for the lower back. Super gentle this morning. Relinquishing resistance. Good. Take a full breath in here. And a long breath out. And on your next inhalation, release that leg. So you point your toes again and get, release that leg so it's nice and long. And then turn your head in the opposite direction. Notice how it feels to stretch the neck on this side. And then as you're ready, bring that same knee as your head is turned as the direction in which your head is turned, draw it up toward your elbow. Breathe in here, feel the breath filling up as your belly presses into the mat beneath you. And then release that air slowly, deliberately. And then as you release that leg on your next inhalation, straighten it out, point the toe and lower it down, get really long. Nice big breath in as you bring your forehead back to center. Maybe shake it out a little bit more. And then bring your hands outside your shoulders. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Forehead comes to the floor. Take your elbows and draw them into your body. And then gentle pressing into the mat as you lift up. Baby, baby cobra here. Breathe in. Strength of the arms. Little compression in the lower back. Don't go too far. And then slowly lower down. Head comes to the floor. So if we shake it out again. Let's see what we can do working with this back bend. Inhale as you lift. And then decide if you'd like to maybe lift your hands off the floor. You can tense your fingers if that feels a little more safe for your back. Good. Gaze is just slightly forward. Keep that breath slow and easy. Yeah, one more breath in and lower back down. Good. So if you shake it out, 
All right, we've got one more here. Let's come on up. Pressing up to your cobra. So maybe it comes a little bit higher. Maybe you lift your hands. Maybe you're still really low, just protecting your back. You've got this. Keep drawing those shoulders back. And notice what's happening. Are you resisting? Are you holding your breath? I am a little bit, just saying. Breathe in. And breathe out. Ah, let it go. Rock it out. Sophie, shake it out. And then press into your mat. Come up through tabletop. Sophie, shake it out here. And let's take some gentle hip circles. Again, if you want to tuck your blanket under your knees for a bit, feel free. And go the opposite direction. Maybe make some figure eights. Try to find some freedom here. We're creating freedom <laughs> within the body. And then come to stillness. Make sure your knees are under your hips and your hands are under your shoulders. Spread the fingers nice and wide, you know. Press into those finger pads and that, that meaty place between the thumb and the forefinger. And then drop your belly, lift your gaze as you inhale. Let's move the spine forward and back. Now we just did some pretty intense little small back bends. So let's start slow and easy. Gentle is the name of the game here. So maybe that's, <laughs> that is where we should start with this whole coming out of COVID, just slow and easy if that feels better for us rather than jumping into it, which some people seem to really be ready to do. And maybe that's okay too. Let's just build on this, maybe drawing the tailbone a little bit higher. Maybe your shoulders drop down as you gaze up a little bit more. And then as you exhale, rounding, maybe drawing the belly more deeply into the spine and the chin comes down to the chest. So take a couple more, finding your fullest expression for this moment anyway, knowing it is always subject to change as we're ready. Good. Let's take one more. Good. Coming back to center. Sophie, shake it out. <clears throat> and then find stillness here. Tops of the feet on the floor or both feet tucked. Either your choice. We're going to take that right leg and reach it out long, get really long, toes pointed down or pointed, whichever you choose, you are free. And then take your left hand, reach it forward, bird dog. Maybe you feel like taking a couple ankle circles as you balance here. Keep that neck long, gazing just forward in front of your mat. And then see if you can find a moment of stillness. And notice where you are feeling the muscular engagement. So glutes, maybe shoulders, belly. Take one more breath in. And on your exhalation, return to the mat. Left hand returns, right knee returns. Sophie, shake it out. Good. Find stillness. And then take the left leg. Get really long. Find your expression of that. So maybe some ankle circles here, maybe a flex, maybe a point. Keep your gaze forward as you extend that right arm. Good. Nice and long. See if you can get perfectly still here. Excellent. And on your next exhalation, return the right hand and the left knee back to the mat. Sophie, shake it out. This time we're going to bring our knees close together, sink your hips back, and extend your arms forward for just a moment, and see if this child's pose feels any different. 
Second child's pose, what a, what a luxury. So at this point, you might feel like reaching your hands back for the outsides of your feet and curling up in just a little seed pose. And take a breath here. And a great place to come if you're just feeling overwhelmed by all the, the frenzy. Or maybe you're ready to party. In which case, let's bring our hands to the outsides of the shoulders and then take them right in front of where you were in your table. So just a little more forward. And then do tuck your toes and begin to lift your hips. So, I mean, lift your knees off the mat just ever so slightly. So you start to feel that party happening in your quadriceps. Yep. And in your abs. And when you're ready, take a slow ascent up to your first downward facing dog. Make it slow. Notice every little nuance of this awesome stretch. And then decide if you want to take your dog for a walk, bending one knee and then the other. Good. <clears throat> and then find stillness in your downward facing dog, lifting your hips a little bit higher, shaking your head yes and no. Good. Nice length in the back body from the head, crown of the head to the tailbone, really getting that benefit of the stretch. Good. Take one more breath in and another breath out. And then we'll look forward. Maybe you're ready to party and you want to take a little jump, jump to the front of your mat, or maybe you just want to take a walk. Let's decide and implement your specific strategy for getting there. Once you get there, bend your knees. Take a really deep forward fold. So bring the belly to the tops of the thighs, bending the knees, letting the head hang in ragdoll. <clears throat> Always the option to come up halfway if you're feeling uh, a little overwhelmed by this forward fold. And then just gently, slowly start to straighten your legs if you feel okay. Take a big breath in, release fingertips toward the floor. Take one hand in front of you and sweep the other up for a side twist. And then on your exhale, take that hand that you raised up and lower it down. Inhale the other arm up. Take your twist on this side. And as you exhale, take your fingertips toward the floor, bend your knees as much as you need to, and then slowly rise up one, one little bicycle chain link at a time. So imagining your spine just unkinking. And then take your arms, reach them up, look up, get really long here. Good. Fingertips up, wiggle your fingertips, look up. Excellent. And then as you exhale, take your palms, face them down toward the ground, bend your knees as much as you need to, forward fold again. Release. Inhale, let's take the left arm up, twist to the left. And exhale, take the fingertips back to the floor. Inhale, open up to the right, right arm reaches. And exhale, fingertips to the floor, good. Crown of the head reaching toward the floor. If that's okay with you, bend your knees. Inhale, root to rise, reaching up, rising up. Head is the last to come up. And then reach up, look up. Good. Excellent. Let's take one more, just like we're flowing like a waterfall. Reaching toward the floor, straightening the legs. Inhale, left arm lifts, twisting. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reaching up with the right, and exhale, lower. Fingertips come to the floor, bend your knees, slowly rise up. And crown of the head reaches up last. And once you get there, reach for your left wrist with your right hand. Take a side bend. Good. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, back to center, switch sides. 
side bend, finding that length in the right side body, keeping both feet firmly planted. Inhale, reach up, look up, take a little back bend. And exhale, bring your palms together. Bring them all the way down to your heart center. Take a moment here in mountain pose. Release your hands. Let your palms face forward. And take your shoulders up to your ears and then loop them down. Draw them toward one another on your back body. So those shoulder blades drawing together. Good. Notice where your chin is in space. See if you can find your mountain pose that gives you the posture we so desire. <laughs> yes, good. good. Finding that something to gaze at that is right in front of you. So my neighbor's house is not moving. So bring your weight into your left foot and come up to your just your right toes. That's enough. Notice the little adjustments that your body might be making. Excellent. And then See if you can bring your knee up to your chest or your waist, either one. <laughs> chest is probably a little bit high. And take some ankle circles here, if that's okay. Always the option to hold on to your wall. Excellent. Keep that gaze on something that's not moving. Here we are balancing already. Sometimes life calls for that. When you're ready, bring your hands to your heart. Step your right foot all the way back to the back of the mat. So you might have to scooch it back to get your runner's lunge. Good. <clears throat> hands at the heart center. See if you can take your right elbow and twist toward the left. So we've already twisted a little bit, so hopefully it's feeling good. But wobbling is probably going to happen, so just embrace the wobble. Good. Decide if you want to open up. So extending that left arm up, right arm maybe coming down, twisting from the right rib cage. Excellent. I know. Take a breath. Keep your breath and smooth and steady. Always coming back to that breath as our anchor. One more breath in. Good. And as you exhale, we're going to take our hands to the mat. Frame that left foot, and then step back, come into Downward Facing Dog. Good. All right. Notice how the right leg feels compared to the left. No judging. <laughs> Every leg is different. So my dad used to say, everybody's different, nobody's perfect. Every leg is different, no leg is perfect. All right, when you're ready, we're going to take a walk forward or a hop, deciding which you're ready for. If you hopped, good for you. <laughs> if you walked, excellent. Find your, your rag doll, or maybe you want to reach for your big toes with your peace fingers and come into a little more of a forward fold. Good. And breathe in. And breathe out. And when you're ready, same thing. Bend your knees, root to rise, coming up slowly, using the strength of your legs. And the head is the last to come up. Reach your fingertips up, look up, get really long. And then take a hold of the right wrist with the left hand, lean left. Keep both feet firmly planted. So you're feeling that sense of grounded, groundedness. And then come back up to center switch. Excellent. Inhale, reach up and look up and take your palms. Reach back for your lower back. Take the palms on the lower back, on the sacrum. And then squeeze in with your elbows. So drawing your shoulder blades together again. Just lean back, little back bend here. Good. As you inhale, come back up to center. Take that shoulder roll, that nice juicy shoulder roll. And we'll find our mountain pose here. <clears throat> Palms facing forward, gazing at that spot in front of you. Nice level, parallel chin, belly engaged. 
legs, muscular engagement in the legs. Good. Excellent. When you're ready, we're going to take our weight to the other side. So bringing our weight into our right foot, come up on your left toe. Perfect to stay here. Always the option to uh, hold on to something, chair or wall. If you can reach for your leg, grasping, holding that shin. Maybe take a few ankle circles. Keep that drishti, that gazing point. Decide and then find stillness and balancing. And if you fall out, always the option to come back or change your, your decision. Maybe the toe is on the floor. Good. Noticing all the little adjustments we have to make just to find our balance. We have to do what's best for us in the moment, right? Good. Take one more breath in and a long breath out. Bring your hands to your heart and take your left leg all the way back. And you might have to scooch it, scooch it. Find that, that long lunge so you get that stretch in the left hip. And then that right knee is hopefully over the right ankle. You might have to make some little adjustments here. Good. And then shine your heart. And as you're ready, take your left elbow across the body to that right thigh. See if you can find some stability here. So now we're gazing in a different direction. See if you can find a gazing point, something that's not moving. Good. Breathing in, smiling. It's only yoga. <laughs> And yet it's so much more. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly unwind. Take your hands to the floor. We'll step the right leg back to meet the left. Here we are, downward facing dog. Such good work already. Already we've, we've done so much. So see if you can find some serious stillness here. I'm gazing back towards your knees or maybe even closing your eyes. See if you can send your heels a little closer to the floor. A nice full breath in. And a long exhalation. Good. When you're ready, here we go. Here comes the full party. Reach your right leg up to the sky. Open up that hip. Maybe take a little circle. Good. Breathe in. And as you exhale, send that leg long. And then step it on forward, right in between the hands. Let's rise up, high crescent lunge. And then open up warrior two. So spin that back foot to flat, cross that right heel to the midline of the left foot. Reach your fingertips out from your shoulders. And line that right knee up with that right ankle. Here we are. See if you can press into both feet equally, all four sides of the feet. So the toes, the sides, the heel, all firmly planted on the earth. And when you're ready, flip that palm on the right hand. Take your peaceful warrior. Maybe your left arm reaches back behind you for a half bind here. Peaceful warrior. I always like the sound of this shape. I want to be a peaceful warrior. <laughs> Breathe in and on your exhale, we'll come back through warrior two and straighten the right leg. So maybe a little bend in the knee, but maybe a little straighten, a little more straight. And then lean forward, sending those right fingertips forward. And when you get to that place where you feel like this is it, just take your right hand to the inside or a block of this right leg. Reach that left arm up and gaze up toward that left arm. Triangle pose. Excellent. Now in triangle, you can always flip this left hand. Take it around behind for the half bind. Giving yourself a little shoulder opener here. 
only if your shoulders will accommodate that. Breathing in, taking it slow today, breathing out. And on your next inhalation, we'll come back through warrior two. Excellent. Spin that back foot so it's facing forward and see if you can take your hands to frame your, your right foot. So pausing here in this low lunge for just a moment. And then send your right foot back to meet your left downward facing dog. Good. Probably our last down dog of the day. So let's see what we can do to make the most of this moment. Send your heels back toward the floor. Relax the back of the neck. Gaze back toward your knees or your belly button. And breathe in. And breathe out. On your inhalation, send that right left leg up high. Get really long. Keep pressing that right heel, though, into the floor. And then open that left hip. Take a circle, if you like. And just see how this you can make this moment the best. Not the best. The, for you. Whatever's best for you. And when you're ready, inhale. Lengthen that leg. And then exhale, send it forward. Maybe have to kind of walk it up there. And then rise up, crescent, high crescent lunge. Just pausing here in this shape. Excellent. Open up warrior two on this side. Sending those arms out from the shoulders. So thinking about this is our extension from our heart, reaching out, getting really wide taking up space and looking down at that left heel and that center of the right foot, finding that alignment, taking the shoulders, rolling them back and down. Good. Starting to shake a little. So am I. Good. Big breath in. Flip that palm. Take a peaceful warrior. So this right hand can come down or maybe half bind here. Decide whatever's best for you today. Breathe in, lean back, and exhale. Send yourself back into your warrior two, keeping that left knee over the left ankle, and then gently straighten this left leg as much as you are ready for, and then lean toward the left, sending your left fingers forward until you say, that's about all. And then this left hand comes to the inside of the left leg, right arm reaches up, turning your torso toward the center, triangle pose here. So notice keeping those feet firmly planted all, think about all the different parts of the foot pressing into the floor, legs engaged, twisting just ever so slightly from the left rib cage. Good. Okay, I'll stop talking. <laughs> one more breath in and one more breath out as you send your arms out and come back into warrior two. Yes, here we are. Okay, hands to heart center. Straighten that left leg. Turn your toes so they're facing forward. Nice wide stance here. Reach your arms up. Spread your fingers wide. Star pose. Good. And then as you're ready, take your hands back behind you, clasp them, send your, your clasped fists down your bootay, and then bend just at the waist for now. Decide if this is all you are ready for. And then if you're ready to go a little further, perhaps you let your head descend and your arms reach up. Good. Nice big breath in. Maybe you reach a little bit more. Maybe you look to the left, send your arms over to the right, and switch sides. Excellent. Coming back through center, take your fingertips to the floor and make your way to a halfway lift. And then heel toe your feet until they are about hip width. Hands come to shins then waist, then slowly 
rise up. Here we are, mountain pose. One more time. All right. So double balance day today. Yesterday I was out in my kayak and I saw two American Eagles. Um, they must have been mates. I think they usually travel together. Because one was huge. It must have been the male, assuming. And then the other one was over in this other tree. They were kind of separated and just so still, amazingly still. A lot of people were in their kayaks kind of taking pictures of them and looking at them. They're so majestic. So in honor of the eagles, we're going to do eagle pose. So lots of different ways to approach this. We'll start with our uh, left leg on the floor. And just like we did, we lift our uh, right leg up about waist high and then wrap it around the left. So lots of options here. Some people can get there. I can do it on one leg. Get your foot completely wrapped around, but not on both legs. Take your arms wide, eagle wingspan, and then we'll take our right arm underneath and wrap those arms, palms facing one another or palms back to back. Lots of options. Do what you can. Maybe you just do eagle arms today. Maybe you're just eagle legs today. Maybe you're going for it. You have to decide what you're ready for, right? So if you're ready for a little bit more of a shoulder stretch, just lift your elbows, keeping your gaze on something that's obviously not moving. Good. And then lower. We'll take one more breath. Open your wingspan, lift your leg, and lower your talons. Shake it out. Good job. Good job. All right. Feet about hip width. Lift and spread your toes and grip the branch. I was looking. I got a pretty good uh, look at the, the male e eagle, I'm assuming, and he really wrapped his talons around the, uh, the branch he was sitting on. I mean, just... It was amazing. It's amazing. Beautiful. Big old yellow talons, I think. So take your weight into your right leg. Let's lift that left knee up, waist high if you can. Might have a little bend in the right leg. Just decide. Wrap it around. So you might be able to wrap this foot around the ankle. Maybe not. Take your arms wide, eagle span, eagle wing span. And then we'll wrap the left arm underneath the right. Bring them together. Good. So we're bringing all that good blood flow into our arms and our legs. So really squeeze in toward center, toward the midline of the body. Good. Wherever you are, if you're ready, lift your elbows a little bit higher if you are in eagle arms. Good. Find that stretch. Breath smooth. Yep. And as you're ready, exhale, slowly lower it down. And then on the inhale, open up wide. Find your wingspan. Excellent. Shake it out. Oh, come on. Right, le right hand shakes right and left. Left hand shakes up and down. Switch it up. Left hand right and left. Sometimes I think I'm getting good at this. Right hand up and down. Anybody else? <laughs> no, it's always hard. Okay. All right. Let's come to the front of our mat. Inhale. Reach up with a flourish. Exhale. Forward fold. Come down. Bend your knees. Lower all the way down to the ground. Find your perch. And sit up nice and tall. Good. Send your legs long. Flex your feet. Nice, tall posture. And when you're ready, just walk your fingertips forward. Find your forward fold. So you can reach for your, your legs, your feet, or if you happen to have a strap and would like to wrap it around, feel free. Freedom to move about the country. Freedom to move about your body. Good. Take a nice big breath in. A long, slow breath out. Let's settle in here a little bit longer. 
Find that stillness, that focus. Notice where you might be resisting still. Send the breath to that resistance. Good, one more long breath in. And a beautiful, slow breath out. And then as you're ready, take your fingertips to the floor slowly, walk your way back up. And take that left leg, cross it over the right. You can keep your right leg long or you can fold it in if you like. And then wrap your right arm around your left leg, take your left hand to the floor, sit up tall, press into the floor to lift your spine, elongate. Look at the tent in your backyard. (laughs) Breathe in and take your twist. Maybe you're ready for a little more ringing out, a little more detoxifying. Good, breathe in. One more. And use your exhalation to unwind. And then we'll switch sides. So right leg comes across. Sit up nice and tall, pressing the right hand into the floor, using it to stabilize and elongate the spine. Nice big breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can reduce resistance by turning from that left rib cage. Notice what's going on in your neck. See if you can breathe in into spaces that might be protesting. Breathe out, release resistance. Good, when you're ready, slowly use your exhalation to unwind. And then we'll come all the way down to our mats, lowering yourself all the way down, finding that gentle stretch of the lower back by hugging your knees into your chest. And then send your left leg long, send your right leg up to the sky, point and flex a couple of times. And then take your nose towards your knee. Good. Slowly lower your head down and bend your left knee, take your right ankle across your left quad. Come into this figure four stretch here. Good. Release tension in the back of the neck and the shoulders and the face. Anywhere there might be resistance, use your breath. Let's switch. So extend that right leg long, send the left leg up to the sky, maybe point and flex a couple of times. Take your nose towards your knee and then bend both legs. Take that left ankle across the right, draw it in whatever way. So you can reach for your hamstring or your shin. Soften here. Good, Sophie just let out a big sigh across the room. Sophie, you're not gonna say hi to us today. Sophie? I guess not, when you're ready. Slowly lower both feet to the ground. We'll take one bridge pose. If wheel is in your wheelhouse, go for it. I won't cue it. We're just gonna press into our feet, lift your hips, take your hands underneath, maybe clasp them. Snuggle your shoulders underneath you. Lift your hips a little bit higher. Last back bend of the day. Breathe in. And use your exhalation to lower you down. Take your hips over to the left. Take your knees to the right. Open up and turn your gaze toward the left. Just close your eyes here. Enjoy this twist. See what you can do in this moment to decrease resistance, if you so choose. Let your breath 
move into those nooks and crannies that might be holding on for dear life. Just send your breath there. It's okay. It's okay to soften. Take one more breath in. And on your exhalation, come back to center. So move those hips back to center for just a moment. And then scooch them over to the right. Lower your knees to the left. Open your right arm up. I always like to have my opposite hand on my outer thigh just to kind of give it a little more oomph. And then turn your gaze toward the right. Soften. Let go. Breathing in. And letting go. Good. On your next breath in, come back to center. Reset. Find that center place. And then take any, any stretches at all or any postures that might feel good. So maybe it's legs up. Maybe. If you have a wall, you can decide you want to take your legs up the wall for Shavasana. That would be a really nice option. And then once you decide where you'd like to be for your final pose, your final shape, the most important shape of all, that corpse pose, let's just get there together. And take your feet wide as the mat, unless your legs are up the wall. And then snuggle those shoulders underneath you so you have a nice open heart. Let the palms rest face up. And let your eyes close or your gaze soften. And then just relax those eyes. Relax your jaw, your jaws. Relax the belly. Soften the legs, let them be heavy. And just let your feet fall out to the sides. And just be here, present for yourself, just for a moment. This is another poem from the poet Dana Folds. It's called The Rebirth of the World. A great blue heron flies across the red face of the rising sun. Its crook-necked, lanky body unmistakable. Nature has a way of welcoming each new day with singular grace. No two mornings are the same. And I am not a mere spectator here. I am moved and changed, struck dumb by loveliness, so infused with awe and wonder at the generosity of mockingbirds and doves, pine trees, and high cirrus clouds catching the first rays of sun that I struggle to find words. In the end, I give up and sit in silence, cloaked in the glow of morning and the rebirth of the world. We begin to deepen the breath. Bring small movements 
to your fingers and toes and turn your head from side to side or stay where you are. <laughs> you have that freedom. When you're ready, roll to one side. If you'd like to join me in a comfortable seat, make your way up and let your eyes close here so you can really tune in to your body. Where the awakening happens. Take a moment for some gratitude for the ability to move about the mat and the, and the planet and send a good thought out to someone who could use it. And when you're ready, inhale, reach up, look up, let your palms touch above your head, draw them right down into your heart. Take a moment of reverence for your body, your mind, your soul. Thank you so much for showing up for Mindful Monday again. We don't know how long it'll last, but we're enjoying every moment, right? <laughs> Namaste. Take care, you guys. I went a little long.